Hey, this is Ken Walden with Secrets of the Pros. Uh, I am the president and CEO of a small company that makes DVDs and train people how to use um, Pro Tools and also general recording, so any kind of recording stuff you do. Uh, we teach people how to get great results at home. And we also have a great title with a drummer right now and a bunch of new stuff coming out. Uh, lately, I've been um, beta testing Pro Tools 8. And Pro Tools 8 is a great application. Uh, it adds a lot of new features some small, some big. Um, like for instance, on the meters, you know, where you have your fader, you finally have marks. So when you're tracking, you know what level that's at. And that's something you do, even though that doesn't, doesn't seem huge, it's something you do all the time. So it actually is a really big benefit. Um, another cool feature in there is the track comping feature. When you're putting together your tracks, that's gonna make a big difference. So some of the new features in Pro Tools 8, uh, there's some great stuff in there. All the current DVDs we have, though, everything you learn off of those do apply to Pro Tools 8. The general way you work is the same. I mean, the faders, solo, mute, um, that kind of thing, your inserts, your sends, that's all the same. There are a lot of great new additions to Pro Tools 8, though. Um, they added meters, uh, or tick marks by the meters, so when you're tracking and you look at your level, you can go, oh, I need to go up 10 dB and just go click-click on your preamp. And that's something you do every day, so that's a really, it, though it's not a huge feature, it's really cool that they added that in. Track comping is also a great feature that they've put in there. It makes it easier when you do multiple tracks of a bass or a guitar or a vocal. It's a lot easier to piece those pieces together. There's also, for you plug-in freaks like myself, there's 10 insert points now instead of just five, which I'm really thankful for because I often max out five inserts when I'm really tweezing with a track. Um, and there are a lot of little features uh, in terms of just getting around the application and finding stuff you need to get to from different points. It also looks different. Um, they've upgraded the look and they spent a lot of time on it. It's really easy on the eyes, really easy to get around and find the stuff you need to work with. It looks really professional. Um, again though, anything you learn off any of our current DVDs applies to Pro Tools 8. And so any of our current stuff, even though we're using Pro Tools 7 and pre you know, previous versions, everything applies. The standards of the application in terms of your volume, your solos, your mutes, inserts, sends, all that kind of stuff is the same. Another really cool thing actually that Digi hasn't pushed that much is there are a lot of great new plugins in Pro Tools 8 that are free. The piano sounds fantastic, tons of fun, weird like, plugins to play around with to morph the sounds that you've tracked. So that's going to really unlock a lot of creativity for you. So check out the new plugins in Pro Tools 8 as well. Uh, again, this is Ken Walden. We're here at the AES show. Here's my AES badge. Uh, it's San Francisco and uh, we're having a good time here checking out the new toys and I think uh, on the floor actually Pro Tools 8 is probably the, the buzz of the show.